And whilst we're talking about dairy, Callum, could I ask you, what would your tips be to anybody transitioning to a vegan diet? Because what I find quite surprising is that many vegetarian clients actually really find it hard to give up dairy, even though it's just one thing in the diet. Many people don't eat eggs actually, um, but find it hard to give up dairy. What would you say to them? Is it a magic source of calcium? Will they suddenly drop dead if they stop having it? So dairy is it's just marketing. It's just marketing. Um, yes, it's a good source of calcium, but also there's so many other good sources of calcium out there. Like, you know, for instance, if you want a swap that's very much like this, go for a soy milk. You know, something that is also high in calcium or go for an oat milk, you know, those tiny little swaps. Or if you want a something that has a high percentage of calcium, you know, oat milk with a fortified calcium inside. And then realistically, we can go look at like the yogurts and things like that. However, calcium doesn't necessarily have to come from a cow or goat or whatever. We, we have no need for it. It's a mineral found in the soil. It's a, it's, a, it's a mineral found in soil. And also we find that people drink loads of dairy, especially in the Western mm. world, but it doesn't actually decrease the risk of osteoporosis. We have the highest consumption of dairy, yet we have the highest number mm. of people with osteoporosis. It's also 75% of the world's population are lactose intolerant. I thought well. it was 70, so that's oh, much 70? higher. Yeah. yeah. Then, yeah, there's lactose intolerance, so we don't necessarily need it. We don't need it. Um, we need it as much as you need giraffe milk, for instance. So we just don't need it. Um, however, you can look at other foods like bok choy, which is a lower oxalate food, um, which, if you cook that, it has a higher bioavailability of calcium than cow's milk, which is 50%, and cow's milk is 30%. 